Hello, good afternoon. I am Lutra FM as always. Uh, and we are now on episode 64, the Rafe Rovers journey, where you left us off last. We basically did the whole January transfer window. Um, it was a very sad day for us because we lost our greatest youth prospect ever, Gary Rui, who went to Juventus for 14 million. Um, a very sad day now. He has played two games for him, done well in Lee. Didn't do very well in the Coppa Italia when he's played both games, but he's he's getting he's played four games since we sold him in January. So yeah, I'm just gutted that we couldn't get like a future fee clause or anything like that. But yeah, he had a minimum fee release clause for 14 million. He wouldn't sign a new contract, so we, we were kind of stuck. I never expected anybody to actually buy him for 14 million, but we did. So, but he will go down as one of our, he will go down as, at the moment, our best ever youth prospect to come through the club. So, if we can get a couple more like that, we'll be doing all right. Uh, let's see if there was any other major transfers that we got we sold. Just a, basically mostly players that just weren't playing. There wasn't anybody else really. And then trans transfers in we did we did spend quite a bit of money to be honest. Uh Daniel Ruiz come in. Most of these were like basically players that had the contract expire when we had to pay like compensation and stuff. Leighton Clarkson, Yame Kuella, uh Aliando Francis, Jesse Lingard on a free transfer Jack, uh, Josh Griffiths, Isaac Camacho, Victor Bobson, and Leon King. And we are currently third. We were first, for, and then we lost to Hearts. So if you have a look at the few games that we played in the last episode, we we basically beat East Fife in the Scottish Cup, uh, St Mirren in the Premiership, and then lost 1-0. So... We've got Dundee, Arbroath in the Scottish Cup next, and then Rangers, which will be a big game, uh, and then Motherwell. So let's just get cracking with that. Yeah, hope you're all having a nice day. Monday is done. You don't need to worry about Monday anymore. Uh, we're closer to the weekend now, Tuesday. Right, there we go. Let's see who the assistant managers decided to pick. So... I think the same goalie in defence, same midfield, and then basically near enough the same mid attacking midfield and striker. So let's start this episode with a good result, hopefully. First highlight goes to us, Petrovic. I don't know why, but the game's playing up all of a sudden. The players are a bit, it's a bit jittery, and I don't know why. Ruiz. A, a Yano cross, oh, over the top ball maybe? No. Oh, we got the ball back though, Rios. Bowler, over the top ball, headed, oh, right, let's just click on that and see if that fixes it. Hopefully we won't get that again, because that was really annoying. Oh no, it's still playing off, why is it playing off? They're going to score from this. Typical. The decline starts, at least it started later in the season than it did last season. A yarning. Oh, okay. Stand corrected. Oh, no. Of course, the AR is going to come in and ruin it for us. Oh, okay. That's good. If you hear any weird noises, it's the dog, I promise. Like that one. 
he's uh he's asleep he's he's conked out i'll show you in a second when this highlight finishes okay as you can see i'll just show you uh there he is not not a very not very uh you know just chilling on his back without care in the world baxter so hard being a dog hey His new favourite thing to do, by the way, is run upstairs and poop on the carpet. He can e he can easily poop on the laminate flooring because it's easier for us to clean. But now he decides to go upstairs. So I've now got a so I've got a, sta a staircase at the moment. Money's a bit tight because it, as people know, when you get a puppy, and you've got to pay for vaccinations, pet insurance, and everything else, it's a bit of a ball ache financially. But so we're um uh, it, money's a bit tight at the moment, as I say. Um, so I've made a temporary staircase with three big bin bags of clothes that I've yet to yeah, get in. Go on, Petrovich. Uh, three, no, sorry, four bin bags of clothes I've yet to take to the charity shops. So it's a part-time solution. It stops him from going into the bedroom. The only time we want him in the bedroom now is when we're going to sleep because we tried getting him to sleep downstairs uh, and he won't do it because he just wants to be near us. So, yeah, a bit annoying. He had his first dog bath yesterday though, and, he, and he was very well behaved. So he just lay there and he just sat there and let us do it. So that's good because dogs don't usually like baths. Anyway, enough of the dog, dog tour. We're winning 2-1. As much as I'm saying enough of the dog talk, uh, it does it, the the few episodes that I've done now having Baxter have been better have done better than the episodes before. So I think I'm better off just just recording uh, Baxter just looking cute. I'd probably get more subscribers to my YouTube channel. I did joke with my girlfriend uh, a couple of days ago saying saying that he is a magnet. He is a uh, I would say chick magnet was very outdated, but basically he he literally the the women come flocking to me when I'm when I've got him in my arm. We went to the shopping center and I was holding him outside the shopping center and I had like five or six old ladies come up to me. So uh, he is definitely getting me all the women, not the not the not the women I want, but he's definitely getting me some. <laughs> um, but yeah. My, my my girlfriend doesn't like doesn't like me joking about that as you can as you can imagine. She knows I wouldn't cheat on her. Mostly because she cooks my tea for me every cup every other day, so I don't want to have to go back to me cooking my own tea. She's much better at it than I am. I'm terrible at cooking. Right, two one. Nice way to start the episode. Gets us back to second place for now. If we can keep this win though, I, I don't want to assume that we will. Oh, you go. oh, come on. I'm not going to talk anymore. You watch now, they'll score here and they'll equalise now. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what's going on with this game. Bruce with the throwing. I think we're just doing a bit of time wasting here by the looks of it. Taking his time, Bruce. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind him taking the, getting a red card for that. Rios had to do what he had to do to keep us keep us in this lead. There we go, two one, good, good, good. Right, we got Arbroath in three days' time. 
just quickly holiday here. Just uh, hopefully it will process quite quickly. But yeah, I'm good about Gary Rui going. I got quite attached to him. Not very often you'll get a prospect like him that will just go straight into the first team at the age of 16 and then just be there for like, we had him there in the first team pretty much for about three or four years where he was consistent right back there. We've managed, we're on schedule to record a Premiership top half finish. Gouet's out for a bit. Let's try and send out Ross Miller on loan, get some first team experience, hopefully become a better player for it. I hope, I think we beat I think we'll easily beat Arbroath. The Scottish Cup get a bit more money. Why is this taking so long? There we go. Right. I think we should rotate this team a bit. So we have full rotation. There you go. Right. So we've got Brin in goal. Oyana is right back. Koetsi in centre back position. Uh, partnership with Lujan. Langello is left back. Richie Moran in, def in defensive midfield position with Clarkson. We got Yame Coelho is making his debut on the right wing. We got Mulu Geta in the uh, attacking midfield position. Ali Sali as the left winger and Ross Stewart back in the team. Let's see how we get on. I hope I haven't made a massive mistake now when rotating the team too much. We end up losing. I think there's quali enough quality in that team to be beating Arbroath. Get in. Coella with a debut goal. Anthony Oyanu, the second goal of the game. Clarkson, who's making his debut for us with the assist. So two impressive debuts so far. We are all over them. So it wasn't a mistake. Luckily, it wasn't a mistake at the end of the day. Oh, Oyanu. Oh, well, I think that took a deflection, if I'm honest with you. Oh, Yano looks injured, though. Doesn't, doesn't, it hasn't come across that he's injured, though. Mongello with the, uh, the throw-in to Ali Salia. Get in. Mulligetta absolutely destroying them in this game. 4-0. Hopefully we can try and make a strong run for the Scottish Cup this season. It'd be nice to win that. It'll show progress as far as I'm concerned. But at some point we've got to play one of the big teams. That's the problem. We've got to play Juvent uh, we've got to play Rangers or Celtic at some point. I think I think we'd be 
very lucky not to play one of them two in the semis or the final. There you go, another goal, Lujan. So we've got one, two, three, four, we've got I don't know, four individual strikers, uh, individual goal scorers here. I can't get my words out today, sorry. And Coella is on course for a hat trick. Coella with the corner there. Bit of head head header tennis as they call it. I used to love doing that as a kid. Uh was not very good at it though. Oh nearly. Oh my god, that was an that that's one way to uh get a hat trick, isn't it? Right, let's watch that again. I've slowed it down a bit so we can see it a little bit better. So Ali Sally had the shot, hit the post, and then he basically just half volleyed it in. Uh, let's just quicken this a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, we lose the ball. Right, Oyano's knackers will take him off. Uh, Leonkin, maybe. Good to know that Coelho's pretty good on the right wing. You never know, he might end up becoming our main right winger. I think he's better than Bowler at the moment. He scored his fourth goal then. I think he's had a, hit, a hat trick hitting the post as well. I swear he's hit the post at least twice in this game. Sorry, I just smiled there, Mark. <laughs> My dog just has the cutest, little, makes the cutest little noises, bless him. Right, uh, Camarago is coming on to make his debut for us. Oh, well, we won't be keeping a clean sheet by the looks of it. Right, should we take Longello off? I don't think we can take, oh we can. Swazo can come on and then we put on Pogba. Can we put on Deli Alley? Have we got enough? Yeah, we have. Yeah. Right, we'll take it. We'll put on Deli. Oh, for God's sake, my dog just moved me then. Cancel. Right. Uh, right, Deli Alley, and then uh, we'll take off my round. Oh, hold on. Coelho's not. Coelho's tired, so we'll put on Lowry. And then we'll put on Pogba. Great, my dog's woken up now, so there might be some interruptions here. Oh, the comeback's on. Arbroath, we've got two goals in the last, last three minutes of the game. King's done terrible in there since he's come on. Right there, six two. That's good. Hopefully we'll have another easy team in the next round. Eight point five million. Eh? Ross Stewart's out for a few days. Oh, come here.
yeah, great great debut for Coelho. He's becoming an instant hero at Rafe Rovers already. Right, we'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode because we haven't been a game for 14 days. Right, and we're back for the next part of the episode. Um, I forwarded it 14 days, so let's just see how we get on. mascarera has gone. Uh, we've got Dundee United in the Scottish Cup next round, by the way. We had Oyanu and Petrovic in the Team of the Week. Diaz is injured for a few days. Oh, Hoyland's injured for a bit. He's out for five to six weeks. Ah, it's a good thing we signed that Kamart show in the end, though. Let's just give Mulligan a bit of praise. As you can imagine, Darren Rye is not happy that we changed his squad status. Yep, give Richie Moran a bit of praise as well. If you can hear a chewing noise, it's my dog who's obsessed with chewing the, the zip parts of the sofa. Luckily the sofa is old and, and uh, uh, disgusting, so I'm not too bothered about him destroying this one. Let's see how we get on against Rangers. Big game now. Back down to third, so I assume Hearts won their game. So the pressure's on us now to get at least a point in this game. If we are to have any chance of getting the second place finish. I think I'm realistic in knowing that I'm probably not going to win the title this season. But we're getting closer and closer. So that's good. Right. You never know, we might get a result against Rangers, we have before. So we've got Duris in goal, Ayano, Francis, Diaz and Bruce in defence. Bobson's making his debut alongside Petrovic. You've got Coella, who keeps his place on the right wing after his brilliant performance in the last game. Uh, we've got Hattrick, he stays there, Barr there, uh, Ruiz is there and Stewart is playing, staying, they're playing up front for the injured Hoyland. Right, let's see how we get on against Rangers. Right, we've got the first highlight. Passing it around nicely here. Keeping possession. Oh, Rui's there with a bit of techers. Unfortunately, it didn't lead to anything. We've got the ball again, though. Rui's. Rui, sorry, no, not Rui. Ruiz, Ruiz. Oh, just over. Can we get the ball back here? Yes, we do. Oh, Yarni. Petrovic. 
Yeah, sort of classes as a shot, I suppose. Can we get the ball again? I feel like they're going to have a defensive error here. Yes, they are. We've got it back. Bar. Oh, we should have done better with that. Right, second place. So let's have a look at the latest scores. Oh, we will in a sec. Got the ball though. Oh, we lost it. Oh, got it back. Bobson, Coella. Oh, yes. Oh, offside. That's a shame. Nil nil in all the other games so far. We seem to be the better team so far in this first half. Bobson, uh, Diaz to Bruce. Cameron Bruce now with the over the top. Oh, nearly. Oh, Celtic can win it. Oh no, 1-1. One, one. Rangers free kick. Saved by Dewhurst. Cleared by a defence. End of the first half. I think Rangers might end up clearing into this game more. Free kick to us. Wide. You do with uh oh no, it doesn't matter. Right. <sighs> Rangers free kick, as expected, they have come into this game more in the second half. Corner to Rangers. Still nil nil though, so that's good. I'll ha I'll I'll don't mind taking the draw against Rangers in this game. Oh, it's the bloody post. Right, I think we need to make some changes. Stuart needs to come off. Who do we put on for him? Camacho can come on for him. Ruiz has not been playing very well, so we'll put on Ali Sali. Coella, unfortunately, is not playing very well. We'll put on Gilhurst. Got the ball back, Bobson. Great right over the top ball. Ross Stewart, very unlucky there. Hit the post. We've hit the post so many times in this game. Overall, we have been the better team. Oh, Ross County beating Celtic. Good United winning, Motherwell winning. Maybe Celtic's on the decline. Right, we uh we drew nil nil. We're still second. Hearts have got a game ahead of us though. Uh, Hibs have got two games ahead of us, and they're only one point behind us. Celtic are four points behind us, and have one game ahead of us. So yeah. Right. So right, my dog was just trying to trying to grab my phone. Then I might you you not have my phone. You can bugger off. Sharp. Uh, no. I wish they stopped going for Dewhurst. I'm not getting rid of him, so they need to give up. Right, I'm just going to holiday. Oh, here comes my dog ready to attack me. Right, I'm going to go on holiday. Be back in a second with this. I'll still stay on there. Just try and keep my dog occupied by letting him chew my finger. To a point, and then it bloody hurts. 
Stop biting daddy. Don't bite don't bite the hand that literally feeds you, dog. Remember that. Hey? Okay? I'm literally in charge of your food. play three games in this episode so what I'm going to do is play this game and then we'll call it a day for this episode right so pretty much the same team as the last game other than boulders in for Coella um, but I think that's pretty much the same team. Yep. Rios, I think, is playing instead of the other central midfielder. Right. Let's see how we get up. Oh, Adosi's injured for hearts. So that'll hopefully be good for us. When it comes to trying to get second place. Rangers winning there. Ugh. I think our priority now is really is just to try and get a top three or four place in the league. Anything else is a bonus. And then try and concentrate on winning the Scottish Cup if possible or at least get into the final. I think that would be progression in some ways. Sorry everyone, trying to record videos and also trying to look after a puppy is a big ask because they need your constant attention all the time, don't you, you little munchkin, oh no, this is your, that's your fault Baxter, we conceded a goal because of you. One, one get in, Ross Stewart, 13th goal of the season. All right, Petrovic, you're all knackered, you're going to have to come off. Get Richie Moran on. Brandon Barr will have to come off in a second as well. See how we get on now. Can we get a, a winner here? Ruiz. Sorry if I was a bit quiet then. I was trying to settle the dog. There we go. Ah, uh, not very loud though. We'll see. We'll see what VAR says. Nah. Right, Ruiz needs to come off. So does Oyane.
right, Miligetta. Gail Hart. Oh, come on, Gail Hart. Jesus Christ, he's been a poor sign in the ass. He's definitely going in the summer. All right, so Rangers are winning, Celtics winning, Dundee United's winning. Oh, Dundee, Dundee United's beating Hearts, so that, that helps us. If we get a winner here, we should stay second in the league, hopefully. Come on, let's get a late winner. Francis. Oh, get in, Ross Stu. Oh, come on, VAR, bugger off. Referee, bugger off. Give us this bloody goal. Oh, sod off. Sick of VAR in this game. Come on, we're going to get a winner now just to pee off the referee who obviously doesn't, obviously doesn't support Red Rovers. Probably an East 5 fan or something. Come on, we still got time. We can still do this. Ross Stewart cross to Gelhart. I don't have much faith when Gelhart's got the ball. Rios back to Gelhart. Ugh. Yes, get in. VAR, you can bugger off. There we go, 2-1. Big F you to the referee who tried to screw us over in that game. We're still second. But we've got Rangers uh, got one game ahead of us still though. Neck and neck on points with Hearts so. though. Neck and neck on games, so that's good. Hibs have got a game though, so they could potentially be second by the time they finish that. Uh, and there's always Celtic in there lurking. Right then, I'll... Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with the next episode. Thanks for persevering with me um, with this dog. I love him to bits, but he's got no, he, he doesn't he's not very well behaved at times. But uh, he'll get better. He's only a puppy, right? I'll leave you to it. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be back tomorrow. All the best. Bye. <laughs>